In the last video, I showed you guys how we hooked up our plumbing and installed our shower pan. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how we waterproofed and tiled our shower. So our shower is 36 by 36 inches. And then standing height, for reference, I am 5'5", and I fit in here perfectly. Like I can move around and it's I have plenty of headroom and then and then the shower head as well is perfect height for me and then standing height from the floor to the ceiling is I think about 6'3 and then once you're ready to shower all you do is just pull the shower curtain over and then you have a perfectly good schooly shower now that you saw a short glimpse of what the final shower looks like, let me show you how we built it. The next thing to do after we installed the shower pan was to start cutting and screwing in the cement backer bowl. After the backer board was mounted, we went in with some self-adhesive cement tape and put that all across any of the seams. Once the tape was up, we started to apply the liquid membrane to waterproof the shower boards. We applied a few cuts of the membrane to the shower walls. It did take about a day or two to dry. And then we also applied it to the ceiling as well to give it some extra water protection. And then once everything was dry, we were able to start getting all of the mortar and everything prepped and ready to start tiling. To tile the shower, all we needed was the tile itself, the tile adhesive, a scraper little handle thing with the teeth. I'm not sure what that is called, but I will insert a picture, so that thing. And then you need your tile spacers, and then finally the tile grout that kind of goes over it all. It was all pretty simple to do um, once you kind of got the hang of it. I've never tiled anything before, so I was a little intimidated going into it, but I do think that the final results turned out pretty amazing, and I love it. So I think it turned out very well for my first time tiling a shower. One thing that I do recommend is watching a video on how to properly mix your tile adhesive, whatever, you're, whatever you've decided to use to adhere the tile to the backer board. Um, make sure you just, you know, you know how to make it and get it to the right consistency so you're not dealing with any clumps or air bubbles and all of that and that will save you a bunch of time when you're doing this project. So that is one thing that I definitely recommend kind of knowing what to do before you start just doing it. Um, but other than that, it's kind of pretty self-explanatory, so yeah. I will also link everything that we use to do this shower um, down in the description below.
After we finished tiling the shower, we decided to use the leftover tile pieces to create this beautiful kitchen countertop and I am obsessed with the way that it turned out. And then at the end of everything and like after we tiled the shower and did the kitchen countertop, we actually had three pieces of tile left which was somehow they fit perfectly in the little desk that we built in the back bedroom. So out of the tile that we bought for just the shower, we got the shower, a kitchen countertop, and the desk, and it's all made out of the tile. And I think that having uh, the tile in the bedroom, bathroom, and the kitchen just allows the colors and everything to just flow through and it all just kind of comes together and I'm obsessed with the way that it turned out and the way that we did things. So I will show you guys some final clips of all of the tile pieces. And I think that is all for today's video, so I will see you in the next one. Bye!